Here's an, another update on the pond. Uh, the water is, was like earlier like pure greenish. Now it's starting to clear up. Here are the goldfish. I got four of them. One should be somewhere over here. Number four somewhere else. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's the number four right over there. And there is a one, uh, one more in here. It's a baby from last year that I kept. Uh, it's like a, it's almost like a ball head. It has a white head red body white tails so i kept that because i thought it looked cool somewhere in here the baby's kind of shy rarely comes out but uh everything is like coming back you can that is the yellow water lilies and this is a water lotus and that is lotus too uh it doesn't have any leaves coming out sometimes you might need to like you know take them out of the pot because that's last year that's what happened with one of my water lotus like it didn't have no sprouting so i took it out of the pot and uh, there were several tubers in there and i had to replant it and it started growing so might need to do that with that one over there and also there will be several tubers in there that you can make more water lotus as well as the lilies too. I am going to take that uh, yellow lily out and replant it because I think it, it grows too crazy. It kind of spreads out too much. So I would need to uh, re, you know, redo on that one. But I'm, I'm going to look there. There you go. There's that baby right over there. I don't know if you guys can see it right by the water lilies over there very shy but uh yeah i would need to definitely replant the lilies but uh i would like to cut it down a little bit so they don't spread too much so look at that it's coming up right over there that's a baby oh there's one more baby in there too damn i didn't even know i just paid attention there's another baby right next to it no, you see something every day and the other one is like that's that's the one i was talking about but i saw another one right look right next to it i know it's hard to see because it is all like uh kind of like a bronze in color that's how the babies are But these are uh, the four, the big four ones. They are my initial uh, ones that I bought. I would say they are at least, I bought them like at least three years ago or four years ago. I don't even know when I first put this pond in. But I know they survived. I think they, I bought them like three years ago. This pond has gone through like two winters. The fish are looking healthy. There is one female and three males. And I still have some baby goldfish like those. Like I think like 13 of them uh, that I caught from the pond when it started warming up. Because I have several of them in here and I caught and sold a bunch of them last year and there were some that I couldn't catch. So, um, when it started warming up, I started catching the ones uh, that I don't want to keep. And uh, there are my other small ponds. And some of those, I, I've seen a few females in there because I see they are even mating right now. So I thought about keeping an additional uh, female, but I don't want to breed too much. It's just a job with, they have too many babies. But I didn't know that there was another 
baby in here and that baby looked really small the surprise one that i found today with the other one uh maybe it didn't uh, it's a run they didn't get much food these uh goldfish laid eggs last time but uh, i don't know what happened i didn't see no babies but they laid eggs again on these uh, roots. Look, 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 there you go. There's that baby that I was talking about. That is the, look, look at that. It's a white head, white tails, the white fins are white, like this, almost. I kept it because I'm a fan of ball heads in the, in the pigeon. So I thought that looked like a ball head. Let me keep that one. But uh, yeah, the pond is, doing great and for anybody who doesn't know much about my pond it's a 300 gallon it's basically a rubber made like rubber made agricultural product it's supposed to be for like a cattle trough for cattle to drink water i just uh, got somebody to dig up the ground over here and put this one in here and i filled it with rainwater but in the summertime when uh, the water goes down, I, I just put regular tap water in it. I don't use no, you know, anything to treat the tap water because I'm gonna add like maybe 10 gallons or something of it. So it don't make that much of a difference because the other water is in here. But I rarely add tap water. Most of the time the rain will fill it up. But I don't have no filter in this. Uh, pond uh, no you know aeration like any kind of like an you know, aerator or uh, water pump you know, UV light none of those so it's like nat it's like I want it to be like a natural looking pond and I try the one thing I try to do is that I limit the number of fish because four fish especially they're getting big that's that's them I would say that's ideal to keep it in this pond. And I added the other one uh, because, you know, it's a cute baby. So that would be a maximum. I even thought about like getting rid of one of these males since uh, I have another baby in here that I'm keeping, but it's a hard thing to get rid of the initial fish that I got. So I don't know. I don't want to get rid of it. A lot of people have asked me if I would sell these fish. I'm like, nah, and no, I'm not going to do that. That is that guy right over there by the... He stays, uh, that baby stays over there by that uh, water lily majority of the time. But I feed these goldfish at least... Uh, when I, because I work from home, I'm home most of the time, like three or four times a day with the red worms that I you know, get from my garden. I just started feeding them uh, the, the pellets, uh, the fish food, regular fish food yesterday just to mix it up they do like that but i try to feed them mainly the red rooms because i think that's straight proteins <clears throat> you know people some of my friends has told me like hey why don't you use something so that, uh, to clear the water and which is a great idea look here, here, here's that little buddy but uh I don't want to do that. I just want to keep it all natural, like. And the fish are doing fine. Only thing I did worse last time is that when I had these babies, I tried to use. Uh, and I don't know. I try. I used a net to catch all of them. So had a lot of uh, things from the. Some I had a lot of these plants, like these. Uh, uh, I had a. I have a anacris and kabomba, and uh, I don't see any more kabomba. I might have ruined them trying to do that, but the anacris is still in here, so hopefully the anacris will grow back and it's really good for like a oxygen supply. That is in the next was right here. <laughs> so 
so that is an update on the pond so i need to catch the other <laughs> baby gophers that's going to be a job especially it's, in, it's bronze in color so really hard to find it but hopefully i'm able to catch it because keeping the numbers low in a pond is definitely the key because you know if you have more fish more waste produce they produce more waste and the you know the water condition would get bad especially since i'm not using a filter and four now with the other one that i decided to keep five is ideal let me take a look at uh, this because uh, they laid eggs again see the roots have any any on it i don't see any and here's another thing too if they have babies in here the other small goldfish most likely would eat them and the big ones i don't know if the big ones would eat it but the small ones would definitely try to eat them see look at this one to see if there's any yeah, i don't see anything on the roots because i saw eggs the other day maybe they came in and look this one has not of an egg on it but who knows but that is the pond